Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Recent reports from Bean Intellinews, dated April 27, 2024, reveal Ukraine's efforts to replenish its artillery resources amidst the ongoing conflict by acquiring a number of 2S1 Gvostika and 2S3 Akatsia howitzers. These howitzers, previously deployed by the Iraqi army, were sold to a British company before being acquired for Ukraine. The transaction, shrouded in secrecy regarding the exact number of units, underscores Ukraine's strategy of sourcing military equipment from international partners and private entities. This trend of acquiring military assets from various sources has been ongoing. In May 2023, British businessman Nick Mead facilitated the transfer of 100 reconnaissance armored vehicles to Ukraine through his company, Tanks A Lot. Additionally, the Serhii Pritchula Foundation raised substantial funds within a short period in November 2022, enabling the purchase of 101 vehicles, with former President Petro Poroshenko financing half of the acquisition himself. Belgian company OIP has also contributed by selling refurbished and upgraded former Belgian Army armored vehicles to Ukraine. The 2S1 Gvozdika and 2S3 Akatsia howitzers are standard Soviet-made artillery pieces currently in service with the Ukrainian military. These self-propelled howitzers are renowned for combining firepower with mobility, making them indispensable components of artillery units. The 2S1 Gvostika was introduced in the 1970s and is mounted on a track chassis, equipped with a 122mm howitzer. Its versatility lies in its ability to fire various ammunition types at a rapid rate, with a maximum firing range of approximately 15.3 km. This mobility and firepower make it effective in supporting infantry operations by delivering indirect fire from a distance. In contrast, the 2S3 Akatsia is designed for heavier firepower, featuring a 152mm howitzer capable of firing high explosive rounds with destructive force. With a higher rate of fire and longer maximum range of up to 18.5 km, the 2S3 is ideal for engaging targets at longer distances and causing significant damage to fortifications and troop concentrations. The acquisition of surplus Soviet-era howitzers reflects Ukraine's urgent need to bolster its defenses against daily losses of both modern and older artillery units. As the conflict persists, Ukraine continues to seek additional resources to maintain its military capabilities and address critical shortages in artillery weapons. In conclusion, Ukraine's acquisition of 2S1 Gvozdika and 2S3 Akatsia howitzers underscores the country's commitment to strengthening its military capabilities amid ongoing challenges. These Soviet-era artillery pieces, supplemented by acquisitions from international partners and private entities, represent a strategic effort to enhance Ukraine's defensive capabilities in the face of persistent threats. That's all for now, see you later.